Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It is a beautiful Monday morning here at the world headquarters of Marathon Coach. We're standing outside the front, literally right between the front of the building and Interstate 5. For those of you who know, if you haven't taken a tour at the Marathon headquarters, you should. All of the coaches have been built, painted, designed, engineered in this building since 1994. I sound like an infomercial. Jeffrey Allen in New York City, I love it. All right, let me jump in here, everybody. Good morning. Hope everyone had a good weekend. This is Coach 1209. I'm going to show you this morning. Got Dave Bash out here, uh, Todd and Mick here with us. Uh, so sorry for getting a little late. Uh, we had a little bit of things we had to figure out, and uh, but we're here. So I love it. So for all of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, thank you for watching. Don't forget to get a hold of me at malw at marathoncoach.com. And aside from that, um, yeah. Don't, uh, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. I'm excited to show you guys this coach. We've got Dave with us, uh, but he's currently on uh, a, a call helping someone. That's what Dave does. For those of you who've watched before, uh, Dave's doing tech support, and that's one of the benefits of uh, Marathon we have tech support uh, able to be reached by phone, and there he is right there. Uh, troubleshooting uh, something for a customer, and so I told him, I said, that's, that's part of your job. Uh, even though we're gonna go live, we'll still uh, you know, let you take your call because that's very important. So as soon as he comes back on, we'll turn his microphone on. Okay, 1209, pre-owned. Uh, here's a deal. Great things going on down in the bay. Let's take a look. Got a very large TV and sound bar and the iPad. You still on the phone, Dave? Dave's still on the phone. I love it. I'm going to pull this back in because I want to show you over here what's going on. All right, take a look at this. Little entertainment area out here. Dave just pulled out the other slide. Check out this table. Okay, now I'm going to do a quick adjustment. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm going to do a quick camera adjustment. We got an issue with the, you know, look at the mouse. Yeah, I see. I see it. I see it. Kind of got that fish eye effect, everybody. But I'm going to keep talking you through what's going on here while Todd, Todd adjusts what's going on there. I think he fixed it. All right. Thanks. We fun. use a wide angle lens, everybody, so uh, sometimes it goes out of alignment. All right. So great entertainment out here. You've got a refrigerator on the front. You've got, you've got a wine cooler on the side. You've got the pop-up table here, storage over there, massive storage back here, and also storage in bay one, both on slide outs. I'm going to pull this one in. All right. Who thinks we should drive this coach today? We're all unhooked. I do, I do. Dave thinks we should drive. All right, here's the deal. We were going to do rock, paper, scissors, but the first person to comment, should Mal drive or Dave drive? First person to comment, Mickey's going to tell me, that's who's going to drive. Who's going to drive? Is it going to be Mal or Dave? You still on that call? Mal. Oh. Thanks to Brian Zinkum. Brian Zinkum, I know him well. Murray seconds it. Murray. Eric thirds it. They're, a, they're asking for me to drive. Drew says that it's you. It's probably because I'm less experienced and I need, and I need the work. More likely to hit something. That's right. We're just going to drive around the building. We've got the slides in. We've got everything unplugged prior to going live. Uh, we, we got everything, we did all of our safety checks and all of that, so just wanted to make sure so that we can drive it around the building, then we're going to stop and Dave's going to pull the slides out. So we're going to head, uh, head into the coach. I'm not going to show you the interior yet. We're going to drive around the building and then stop, but take a look at the side of 1209. What a beautiful coach. Phil McCracken says he should be driving. Phil McCracken, absolutely. The diesel pushers. 
For those of you who are uh, down there in the Indio La Quinta Palm Springs area, you may have seen our very own Jim Cogley and the diesel pushers, Phil McCracken, also a big part of the diesel pushers. And a big part of you know our experience down there in Indo, Indio, so it's good to hear from Phil. Truckee, California, Michael. I've been I've been through Truckee. Hey Dave, let's do this. Let's let's drive this coach. First thing we're gonna do is head on up in here. Let me grab this from you, Todd. Slides are pulled in. It's a really good value in this coach for from a pre-owned standpoint this is a really good value 1209 while we're waiting for him do you want to show people with the slides in we always have yeah Todd go ahead and walk let's walk through and we can show everybody the slides that's a good point Mickey a lot of people want to see the slides in and show how easily you can manipulate through the coach. Want to show all the way to that? Yeah, go all the way back. And then go ahead and turn around, Todd, and I'll show everybody the that everything is accessible. This is an XL2. This is one of the last of the XL2s uh, before they went to the X3 and uh, it also has a Detroit diesel in it before they went to Volvo. But uh, you, as you can see, you can definitely get through here very easily. Everything's accessible from the refrigerator on up. And that's kind of what it looks like with the slides in. All right, let's go pick Dave up. Everybody sit on down, get safe. Todd, you gonna come up here with me? Yeah, for right now we'll sit right here. Why don't you come on up here with me? We got our hazards on. I'm gonna turn them off when we get going. It's break time here, so we got a lot of a lot of the marathon crew walking around the um, the building. There we go. Adjust that a little bit. So what? How was everyone's weekend? What What did everybody do this weekend? I did some yard work. Hung out with my family. Otis Mack just asked, what happened to that stacker trailer? Oh, that's a, that's a good point. Dave's getting in, so I'm going to put the brake on real quick. You're fine You're fine right there, Todd. All right. I think Dave is still on his call. No, I'm off. Oh, he's off. Okay, hold on. He's off, so we're going to... bring... No, you're fine. Check my mirrors. Okay. Everything is good. You're live now. Uh, I'm stay out Dave, you're live Dave, now. Your mic is hot. <laughs> So did you so, hear when I said I can try to stay out of this? You can try to stay out of this. <laughs> so Otis Mack uh, mentioned the stacker trailer, Bernie V's trailer. Yeah. Uh, Bernie and Debbie's trailer. Uh, marketing team, mostly Todd, was working on that this weekend, getting the editing done. And um, <clears throat> I think we're going to run it this coming Monday. We're not going to be live. Uh, this coming Monday, look at the, look at this beautiful paint job over here, Todd. Gorgeous. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually I'm gonna turn these off so that doesn't it? Well, I'm I'm wearing a mic. I can turn that on. Yeah, it's not bad. We care. Okay. Not bad. Mal, do you want to hear what people did this weekend? I do, but first thing I want to finish Otis's. Uh, I want to finish Otis's comment there. Uh, trailer episode. Um, with 1291 Bernie and Debbie's coach and trailer we're gonna run it this coming Monday uh, a lot of work's gone into that episode and a big thanks to the owners for letting us uh, profile it because a lot of you are interested uh, so yes this coming Monday the trailer episode uh, yeah what what everyone do this weekend Mickey all right so Don uh, relaxed at the coast and won money at Spirit Mountain oh Spirit Mountain <laughs> Eric Pat, Pat Oberg? Yes. Yeah. Pat Oberg was out in his bus. 
Ask him if he had the, uh, but Pat, did you have the trailer with you or just the, just the coach? Marathon owner, Pat Oberg. I love it. Then Brian celebrated a grandparent's 101st birthday with family. Wow. Wow, 101st. That's pretty cool. Here we are back in the service department. You see a lot of buses in here for remodels, some repairs. Here's a service vehicle right here. For those of you who have spent time on the West Coast, you've seen that vehicle. Uh, big thanks to our service department, most notably Chris Welch and Kurt Nelson for getting Coach 1209 ready for us to show this morning. Jim Cogley just drove this uh, consignment up from uh, Southern California. Dave Bash is running it through its paces, uh, doing his PDI on it. And once Dave's done, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be out there and ready. And there's Darcy. She's watching. <laughs> Darcy's watching us. Marcy. Marcy. Did I say Darcy? Yes, you did. Oh, shame on me and shame on me. I'll try not to tell her. Marcy. So Pat says it was just the bus. No trailer. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, if you don't need to bring the trailer, leave it at home. Leave it at home. Pat Oberg, marathon coach owner. I like to drive the parking lot and see <laughs> owners are out here. This is Camp Marathon. Just a cruising. Just cruising. Who's gonna drive you home? We were talking about that song this morning. Todd mentioned Rick Ocasek and the cars. So we were, <laughs> we were talking about that. That's a cool looking 40 footer right there, huh? We got the remodel episodes coming up. Oh, that's is that eight twenty six? There's a there's a pretty paint job right in front of us, Todd. Huh. Eight oh six. Well, everybody, I really appreciate y'all watching, whether whether you are on Facebook or YouTube. Our YouTube viewers are very important to this show. Um, it's uh this is a it's a thrill for me, and I'm honored every week to find different aspects of marathon to show you and I, I think you saw that right there you've got employees out here on break like Marcy was out there watching there's 1302 I'll give you a little snippet of 1302 brand new custom the owner yep custom custom coach the owner of 1302 was just out here and uh I'm excited to be able to bring that coach to you uh, quite soon uh, in another episode of Marathon Mondays. Very customized quad slide H3. So Dave, what do you think? Should we pull this guy over and, uh, and show everybody uh, with the slides out? It's up to you, Mal. Dave, what'd you do this weekend? I worked at home. Worked at home. I have a wife and children. You do. You do. <laughs> it's kind of nice to ride back here sometimes. <laughs> well, even though we're not really up to a high speed, you know, 10 miles an hour is the rule here at Marathon um, in the parking lot. But this bus drives very, very well. 1209 is a great value. Uh, just, just over a million dollars for, for a coach with uh, 28,000 miles on it. There's Paul from our service department. Paint. Marcy says good morning, Matt. Marcy. Can't believe I called her Darcy. Shame on me. Jerome says good morning from Philly. Jerome in Philadelphia. I love it. We have greetings from Montreal. Um, from another place in D.C. Our Canadian friends. My man Darcy Klein's probably watching. Well, Throw it into neutral, emergency brake, and there we are. Let's uh, let's pull these slides out, Dave. All right. Todd, you want to jump to the back, and uh, Dave can uh, 
You want me to pull, you, want me, you just want to do them right here, Dave? Let's open the door first. Yep. Now, Dave, tell them why you open the door. Prevo recommends it because the, the wiper that goes all the way around the slide, if we were to leave the door shut and just open the little coin window, you'd see how much air actually moves. Sure. The, the seal's pretty tight, so they recommend opening the door. And these are valid slides? These are valid slides, yes. Absolutely. So I'm right down here. All, all checks have been made to make sure uh, that the dog is not in the way or the cat or uh, a pillow. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to extend this room. Seal is vacuuming. Uh, other than that, I want to tell you a little bit about this coach. It's a great floor plan. You've got the jackknife sofa here in the salon as you see it sliding out right there. L-shaped dinette with a contouring ottoman as you can see it's right there. This coach has the Sub-Zero refrigerator in the galley. All right. You can work on the rear slide from there too. Okay. Unless you want to do it from back here. No, I'll do it. I'll do it right here. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful floor in coach 1209. If you take a look at the floor in the galley, it's really got a nice feature to it that kind of breaks up the monotony of just a solid tile. I really like that. Sub-Zero refrigerator freezer, like I mentioned. Also, Dave, why don't you show them the storage there? There's a lot of storage in the galley. You got the pull-out drawers here, all solid bamboo. And in Pretty the nice. background there, you can see. And then we got the slide out the going, going out right out. now. Eric Benjamin asked a good question. I just took a peek over Mickey's shoulder. Eric asked a good question about Camp Marathon. The best way to stay at Camp Marathon if you're a non-owner, if you're an owner, absolutely you're gonna register uh, through our service department. But if you're a non-owner and you're coming to Marathon um, to take a tour, to take a look, just email me and we'll make sure that you can you can stay if you have an RV. Mal W at MarathonCoach.com. I think by now everyone on Facebook and YouTube knows my uh, knows my email. But Eric, if if you're coming, I'd love for you to uh, come and take a look at what Marathon has uh, to show you. And Camp Marathon, uh, there's actually little Camp Marathons at each of our locations, Florida, Texas, and here at the Mothership. So here we are. Uh, standing with the slides out and as you can see there's a lot more room with, in a double slide um, and what I would call adequate it always surprises me Dave uh, going from being in a quad to going in from a, a double slide like this it's there's a lot of room in a double slide uh, marathon yep good storage underneath here and above Dave already showed you these uh, You've got to have, got to have good storage in the galley. Got to have good storage. Washer dryer right here. Sorry, Todd, I'm going a little fast. Your, your stacking ASCOs are right here. Full shower is here. Here's your water closet, also also known as your restroom over here. It's got a uh, monitor in there, so you don't have to miss the game. Kaywood Elliott. He's actually coming out this summer. I talked to Kaywood this morning. Good Canadian friend of ours. All right, I love this. Todd's backpack's in here. Take a look at this, everybody. Big closet, big closet. Good storage underneath. We can, yeah. This is perfect for that couple that needs storage. Lots of room. Shirt closet over here.
And then if you take a look back here, you can actually get up in here. This is a uh, four foot bar that tees into a two foot bar over here. So you got lots of room to uh, store items. Plus you have uh, some drawers here to store clothing. This is perfect for shoes or what have you. And also there's these cubbies here that are good for little items like socks or, or you could even put shoes in there. I almost said what have you, which would be a total Lebowski thing to say. <laughs> Samsung TV here. This is a great coach. Sorry to cross in front of you again, Todd. No problem. Okay, before we talk um, a little bit now, about... Now, yeah. some more features back here. Dave's got a few more features that he wants to show everybody. When this coach was built, this TV, there's storage behind it, behind the... There's a button underneath that releases it, and you got storage back behind that TV. Wow, that's great. Things in there. That's good creative thinking. We've talked about utilization of space in marathons many, many times. Um, and that's just one, one thing. Also, Todd, if you can see all the way from where D Dave is standing, all the way along the bottom, all the way over to here, at the end of the bedroom, is storage throughout, large storage. That's one of the big considerations. Look at those. Those Man, are pretty deep. Those are deep. Yeah. Fit a lot of clothing in there. That's one of the big considerations when you talk about a, 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 a double slide coach. Here we are in the X, this is an XL2 uh, pre-owned coach 1209. Uh, you want to you consider storage and space, but take a look at the ceiling. I'm going to take a step back so that Todd can move around. What a beautiful ceiling. From a pre-owned standpoint, this guy having less than 30,000 miles and standing so tall, uh, this is definitely something you should consider. If you're looking to, if you're currently in a coach or you're currently in a marathon, this is a great upgrade. If you're in something that's a little bit older and you want to upgrade to something newer, this is the one for you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled to show it to you. If you've never had a marathon, you're looking to jump and you can, you can get into this price point. Uh, it's just a hair over a million dollars. This is the one uh, that you should look at. Beautiful interior and exterior, lots of amenities, and you're getting very low mileage on this coach. Remember, the Prevo chassis, according to the manufacturer, isn't properly broken in until it hits about 60,000 miles. And this has, I think, 28,000 is what I said earlier. Uh, other than that, Dave, you got anything else? Dave's, Dave's actually looking at something on the floor over there, but we'll let him do that. That's what he does. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Dave uh, wears a lot of hats here, but he's a, a member of the uh, service department. So... That's why uh, Dave does a lot of the deliveries because he sure knows his coaches. Um, Mickey, before we get out of here, is there anything that uh, that uh, we should address? Um, we have mainly comments. Jim talks about the impressive design. Jake talks about how beautiful the inside is. Dean thought the hampers were nice. Those are big hampers. They're very big. You fit a lot of clothes in there. Yeah, it was probably custom ordered that way. Yeah, I, I like that. This was a that. custom order coach when it was brand new. I like that. Uh, Jason says, Aloha from Maui. Marcy <laughs> totally forgives you. <laughs> I, oh, you tell her, I owe her. Yes, you do. Calling Marcy Darcy. There's, there's got to be a joke in there somewhere. Who, sa who said Aloha? Um, Marcy Darcy Jason? was a character in a show I used to watch. Marcy Darcy, is that a character? Someone Google that. Speaking of Google She's and speaking of Hawaii, who said hello from Hawaii, Mickey? Jason? Um, Jason, aloha, brother. Speak, and I said, speaking of Google, it was Eddie Icow's birthday. Uh, and so the Google, the Google doodle from this weekend uh, was brother Eddie. 
Uh, so for, for those of you who don't know who Eddie Aikau was, Google him. Uh, he's the ultimate water man from Hawaii, uh, saved a lot of people's lives and gave his own life uh, to, by trying to rescue people in 1978. Eddie Aikau, a legend in Hawaii, a legend in the United States. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that people are watching. Dean, uh, nailed it. Marcy Darcy was a character of Married with Children. Married with Children, Marcy Darcy. <laughs> Holy smokes, I love it. Anyway, everybody, thank you for watching Marathon Mondays with Mal Dave. What do you got planned for this week? Besides PDI, your, your delivery inspection on this coach. Let's give everybody a different, <laughs> a different look here. Todd's looking to move. Well, PDI on this. I've got delivery with Mr. and Mrs. Rulander either tomorrow or the next day. Okay. And so go well, with that for right now. Gotcha. Everybody out there, thank you for watching. Um, Keep emailing me. Uh, keep interacting. Don't forget to go to Marathon uh, Marathon Mondays with Mal on Facebook. If you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook, go to my personal page. It's Marathon Mondays with Mal. Like it there. I'm putting uh, things out there every day. Um, different little content. Uh, we might even have an interview with Dave from, from underneath the coach when he's talking about the breaks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the trailer episode next week. Uh, I'm not promising it, but I'm promising it. Next week, that is, is my phone ringing? Somebody's is. Everybody I know is right here except my wife. Be yourself and do good things. I'm out of here. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I'm, I'm staying right here. Thanks, everybody. Brother Eddie. Eddie. Eddie Icap.